Let's figure out how this trick was done. My name is Waslebanitu and welcome to Penfinity. As you know by now, I'm not a really big fan of texturing and that's why I try to avoid it as much as possible. And I was thinking about floating geometry and how you can avoid to project them all the time, especially if you have to make quick changes. And the problem with them is the viewing angle because at some point you will see the back of the geometry. And this trick can be really useful, especially if you have to do a quick concept. So let me show you how it was done. For now, we have a basic glossy shader. So let's mix it with the transparent and let's apply as a mix factor a geometry node with back facing. You see the problem? The back will disappear, but let us see through what's inside. And this is not what we are looking for. And another really important thing is that I don't want ever to touch the ray visibilities in the object tab. So I want to remove any depth into the transparent and at the same time shut down shadow, diffuse, glossy, everything. And fortunately for us, we have a solution for that. Let's look at the light path and see what happens when we preview the transparent depth. It is by default at zero. So what I did is simply add this component to my mask with the matte node and voila. The trick works in a snap of a finger. And now you can tilt your object furthermore and the benefit is that you will save a lot of time during the concept phase. So that's it everybody. Sorry for teasing you that much, but it was fun to do, I have to admit it. As always, if you have any question, just ask. And until the next video, work hard, smart, and with a lot of fun. This is Wesley for Open Infinity, signing off.